Hey everybody, I bet you're wondering what this orange metal part is that I have sitting on my desk right here. Can anybody guess? Comments below. Kind of already ruined it because it's in the title. But, this is a reduced travel and trigger pull hammer for your PS90 and P90 hammer packs. So for those of you that don't know, the PS90 obviously is a bullpup. The way that it's operated is the trigger is connected to a pair of rods that go to the rear of the gun to the hammer pack here, trigger pack. And with the rods push this here, far enough back, and that releases the hammer and fires the gun, and so forth. This what what you see in front of you, this is actually a generation three hammer pack, noted by the different cut in the hammer for the front safety sear. Generation 4's lack the front safety sear. Generation 2's typically have a black hammer and have the cut in a different place. Generation 1 has the same cut as a Generation 2 hammer and are usually all completely black. So, one of the forum members on the FN forum came up with this aluminum hammer. It's supposedly angled differently to allow less travel on the trigger and a lighter pull. So, retail on this is, I think, $100 from him. So if you have Generation 4, you can also buy the safety sear from him in aluminum. Or if you have a Generation 3 hammer, you can also buy a standard Generation 1 or 2 hammer without the reduced trigger pull. So let's uh, install this. It's probably a really good idea to take note of the spring assembly here. The left hand side spring assembly comes forward and puts pressure on the safety sear. And the right hand spring comes down and hooks around here. So we'll get a punch and punch this out. So get yourself a punch and a hammer. We're going to take the front safety sear out first. You know, you might not even need a hammer. Careful not to lose the parts. It gets installed that way. There's already. Remember that goes down. You should be able to push this one out just almost as easily, too. Two separate springs here. Note this one with the L bend is on the right hand side and the more traditional one is on the left. They actually fit in these little holes down here. So you take your new hammer, take the springs out to kind of give you a side by side. Again you can see the safety sear cut is in a different spot. So, we, so installation should be fairly straightforward. Put the little spring in there. Put the other spring on the other side. So once you've transferred your springs, you can start reassembly. You note that the hammer slips down in and in front of this. Bring down first. You can make sure you're in front of the black piece. Line up your holes. Put your retaining pin in. Make sure your spring's in that little pocket there. You can kind of already see that we're most of the way there. You can then take your safety sear. pocket nope. just need to bend that spring far enough forward so you can catch it on the safety sear 
push it down I need a punch on the other side to help line the holes up just a little bit because you've got some spring tension on here it needs to go messing with it for a few minutes. Your hammer pack is now reassembled. Verify function. You've got tension there. Tension on your hammer. So now let's test the trigger pull. So here's the stock PS90 trigger pull. That's six pounds and fourteen ounces. Or sorry, that's six pounds and twelve ounces. Again, I'm just holding the rod there so the gauge can be pulled straight back not pulling it extra hard or anything or putting more force on it I'm just just holding it there with my finger that was six pounds ten ounces that time time six pounds twelve ounces again so here's our orange hammer trigger pull test and use our RCBS trigger pull scale we'll put it on the left hand side a little over five pounds ten ounces I'm just putting my finger there again just to keep the straight I'm not putting any pressure on it And about five pounds and fourteen ounces at time, so definitely under five or definitely under six pounds. Here's the take up and reset on the stock PS90 hammer. There's not really a lot of take up, there's a little slop there, but it breaks right about there. The reset. pretty much all the way forward there's some take up there so let's see what the new hammer can do so here's our orange hammer pack trigger take up and reset
definitely feels like there's less take up. So the main goal of this aftermarket aluminum hammer is essentially to give you that sear cut at that original Gen 1, Gen 2 angle for, for a very affordable price compared to actually purchasing a complete Gen 1 or Gen 2 trigger pack. Now granted the original hammer is made out of plastic and will last hundreds of thousands of rounds. This is aluminum and I see no reason that it can't do the same. You'll note on the aluminum that it does dimple a little bit. And that's after dry firing it like 30 times. But guys in the forum have shot quite a few hundred rounds through it and so far so good. So I see no reason that that would cause an issue. I'll put the forum members for sale thread in the uh, description below so if you want to check out what he has to offer have at it. Uh, thanks for watching everyone.